Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we've got two new teasers for the sixth anniversary of FNAF, and these teasers are of course for FNAF Security Breach, the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's game. So first of all, you know, happy anniversary to all you Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there. Of course, six years ago today, the original Five Nights at Freddy's game released in 2014. It's been six whole years, which seems pretty crazy, but that is the amount of time that has passed, so it's been six years since Scott first unleashed the animatronics of Five Nights at Freddy's and Fazbear Entertainment on the world. And so here's to another six years of success for Scott and the franchise and hopefully some new characters along the way. And talking of new characters, we have got the official sort of reveal of Roxanne Wolf. Um, of course her name leaked and her design leaked through Funko Designs a little while back which I didn't want to really make a video on because of course it was kind of a leak, but now it's official. Here is Roxanne Wolf, and as you can see, she's really into the music here. She's playing the guitar, she's jumping in the air. Her hair, you know, you can see it's really long. It's like going right up in the air. She's got piercing through her ear. She's got a long sort of bushy tail. Um, I mean, this is very glam rock as the name suggests. You can see from her outfit, you know, she's got the kind of glam rock outfit on as well. I think this image was supposed to come out a little while ago, but for whatever reason it didn't and so it's now been stealth dropped today for the anniversary of FNAF. Now I don't know if this means we won't get a trailer today or anything like that, probably does. Either way we are just getting a look here at Roxanne Wolf for the first time and it's, she looks pretty awesome. I love the light art direction here, I love the 80s vibe, um, it's definitely kind of going for that neon look. We also have our first proper look at Chica, at Glamrock Chica in this new game. She has an electric guitar as well, which she's playing. She's not going quite as hard as uh, Roxanne, but she is playing her guitar to the crowd and you can see they've all got their glow sticks. Uh, her little slogan is party. Roxanne's slogan is dance. So obviously Roxanne was the main sort of dancer of the troupe and um, Chica as always brings the party there. I think, you know, these designs are really cool. I really like how different they are from the usual Five Nights at Freddy's sort of looks. Scott's gone in a very different direction, or at least the art team sort of working with him here has. And I think it's kind of more in line with the designs we see in the books and the artwork we see uh, for the books that are sort of releasing the Fazbear's Fright series at the moment. The designs are kind of in line with the art style of those books, but definitely as well very 80s themed. The more I see of this game, the more excited I'm getting for it. Help Wanted was one of my favourite Five Nights at Freddy's games, perhaps even my very favourite Five Nights at Freddy's games, and I'm really hoping this game continues to be VR compatible. But even if it's not, you know, just the art style, the look, the feel of this game so far, the radical departure for the series in, in sort of look and feel, I think this is going to be something really special. I think the gameplay is going to be a mixture of free roam and, you know, the mini games we got in Help Wanted. I think they're going to kind of mash up that kind Kind of design and I just think it's going to be something really cool so I'm really excited for this to come out I can't wait to see more I hope we get a trailer soon but if this is all we're getting for the anniversary at least we've now seen the teasers for all the main characters in the game which suggests to me that the next teaser we get or the next piece of information from Scott we get will actually be the full-blown trailer or some gameplay images or something because they've now shown teasers for all of the characters that are going to be in it at least the main characters so you know the only one left to do would make maybe be glitch trap if he was going to appear in some form in the game again but because he was kind of like a virus bound thing I don't know how much we'll actually see of him in this but either way you know like it seems like next we're going to get the actual like meaty juicy information on the game which is really really exciting and these teasers are really nice because Scott didn't actually have to give us anything for the anniversary so it's cool he finally said hey look these teasers existed we didn't release them before and now you know here they are hope you've enjoyed this look at them today in the video guys if you have enjoyed this video remember to give it a like leave me a comment down below and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one happy FNAF anniversary and I'll see you all on the the next one.